bless you, this is Preacher Juan, and right here in the washing machine with the white and washing clothes. And while we're washing our clothes, we want God to wash our hearts. That's why he said, Lord, create me. God, create me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Amen. You know, appearances mean a lot. Yes. You know, a lot of people say in church, oh, God is not concerned about what you wear. It's what's in your heart. So many of you coming in church, you got no cleavage. I mean, you're showing your cleavage. You got no bra on. Many people coming in church look like they're going to a club. Right. And they say, oh, but God is just concerned about my heart. He's not concerned about your appearances. But appearance do mean a lot. Yes, it does. Now, you have a preacher of the gospel, right? <laughs> now, can you imagine me getting ready to preach in the revival? I've been preaching since I was six years old. Can you imagine me getting ready to preach in the revival? And I'm coming to the pulpit like this. Okay. Bless me. Check this out. Imagine me coming to the, the pulpit. Right and I'm looking like this. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. Ain't God good? Now, you're going to think this is going to be a stick up because I'm wearing this. I'm looking like the elephant man. Right. Now, can you imagine if I had this hat on like this, and I'm coming on the pulpit, and I'm preaching to your congregation oh looking God. like this. You're going to think something wrong with preacher Warren, right? That means appearance do means God do look right. at the outside. Of, this don't look proper. Mm -hmm. Have you ever saw a preacher come to the pulpit looking like this? No. You think you're somewhere in Chicago. And right. Chicago got too much gun violence going on. and got right. all that stuff going on in Baltimore. Uh, come out that witchcraft, kill the root. Yes. Come on. God don't like all that violence, but man, if you come to the church, oh, I'm preaching to the congregation looking like this. You think gonna be a stick? Everybody gonna go like this? Because it's a stick. Right. They ain't gonna look right, right? right. So God do want us to look holy. Yes. He yes. wants us to yes. dress holy. It's you know, it's like when you get married. The most beautiful woman in that wedding is supposed to be the who? The bride. The bride. That's why they have a song called "Here Comes the Bride,", bride All Dressed in White," not dressed in black. Dressed in white, nothing wrong with black, but you want your bride dressed in white. white. Mm -hmm. We know the groom is supposed to look good. Yes. The bridesmaid is going to look beautiful, but nobody's supposed to look more beautiful than the right. bride. Right. That's your special wedding day, mm -hmm. right? You don't want your bride coming down the aisle looking tacky. Her <laughs> right. hair cold, her hair sitting up right. like Don King or Buckwheat. Mm -hmm. You don't want your groom, no. you don't want the man looking all tacky. No. The best, you're supposed to look your best on your wedding. The bride is going to be the most beautiful woman in the wedding. The groom is supposed to be the most handsome one in the wedding because right. y'all two are getting married. But that's how it is with Jesus. Amen. He is our spiritual husband. He yeah. is our God. We are his bride. So he wants his bride to be holy because he said, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. He said, be holy for I am holy. No, we're not perfect. But that's why he gave us a Holy Ghost to give us power to live holy. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 44 verse 45 and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. Jesus is beautiful. He's a wonderful counselor. Right. He's a prince of peace. He's a mighty God. He's a rose of sherry. No one is more beautiful than Jesus Christ. Now the 